Okay, so now we have a, a little different one. This is from the reading specialist exam. It's a uh, the MTEL 62 exam. It's the one in Massachusetts. It just came out. Um, it's a pretty tough exam. It's got a lot of detailed questions. Now, I don't think this question is particularly hard. I think everyone that's watching this video right now could learn from this. It doesn't matter where you are, or what test you're taking. But, but let's take a look at it because it does get a little bit more specific in the scenarios, okay? So first, everyone, I want you to take one minute and I want you to read this to yourself. I think this is a one minute, maybe it's a two minute question. It's gonna be hopefully an original a question that you've never seen before. So take a moment now, uh, pause the video and read the question and then we'll talk about it, okay? All right, read the question now, go. Unpause. Uh, this is going to be about directionality. That's your clue. <laughs> and this picture is is not normally there, but but now that we're I've highlighted this idea, right? And you can look at the picture. Who's ever done that before? Um, model directionality with I don't know a magic wand or something. That's fun. Kids love to use that the wand or the ruler. They love practicing directionality with that. They they love just getting the opportunity to hold that stick and read from left to right, right? Okay, so let's read this question here. It says, which of the following strategies suggested by the reading specialist, let's just circle this, reading specialist. This literally could be any teacher, I feel. Targets a basic print concept that should be among the earliest taught. So, so when it says basic, I, I think it's better to think about it as foundational, right? Meaning foundational means it's really important, right? Like there's a lot of skills out there, but but ba a basic con a basic print concept is one that's like you need is very very important, right? And it's one of the ones the earliest taught, earliest modeled. So we're thinking you know, like this would be something that would be modeled in preschool, right? Or this would be modeled for our, our three to four year olds or four to five year olds, okay? And definitely you can continue this, you know, with your kindergarten students five to six. But it's just one of those really important ideas. Now, what does that mean? It means that some of these are important, but they're they're not as important, okay? Uh, so let's see here. A, um, point to question marks and or exclamation points at the end of a sentence before reading the sentence out loud. You know, for a three to four year old, for you to take time and highlight the punctuation before you read the text, I don't know if that's the... I don't know if that's a foundational idea that you teach first, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna cross that one off. Maybe you would agree. I think by the time you do that, here's a question mark, here's a here's a here's an exclamation. You've lost your students. They're no longer interested in you. They don't want you to be the reader, right? So no, it's not gonna be that. How about this one right here? Uh, noting each separate paragraph on a page before reading the page aloud. Again, three to four year old. You've gonna, you're going to lose their interest. Here's a paragraph. Here's another paragraph. They're going to be like, what's a paragraph? So let's cross that one off, okay? How about this one right here? Explain to children while reading aloud that quotation marks indicate that a character is speaking. I could see that. I, I could see that being something where you would, at some point, you would explain what quotation marks are. In fact, all these things, the punctuation, the, the uh, all these syntax, uh, and, and all these in things involving syntax punctu and punctuation, P uh, exclamation, question mark, quotations, um, paragraph structure. These are things that we would be pointing out at some point. But is it the first thing, the most foundational thing? How about this one right here? Tracking print from left to right by sweeping a pointer under each line of print while you read. This is something that teachers model from the very beginning as they read going from left to right and in that pointer right everyone in this group that works in early early education preschool kindergarten first grade you're you are definitely using this right yes so there's a group of teachers out there that are like yes <laughs> and then there's some teachers that are like i don't know i've never done this and then there's another group of teachers that's like, I don't know because I'm a teacher in high school calculus and I've never taught, learned how to teach at all. I just do whatever I did in college. Well, that's okay too. But in this case right here, that pointer thing, you know, is an everyday event, 
right? So maybe uh, you see this right away as right away. This is probably the most basic uh, concept that would be taught the earliest. And these others are more secondary. Yeah. Now, is this a hard question? I mean, this is a reading specialist exam, so it's supposed to be really hard, but I don't think it's that hard. But if you want to take a look at this exam, it's got some hard questions. Not all of them are hard. I think it's a good challenge, a good push. So if you want to push test, do the 62, okay? Um, here are some vocab, concepts of print, tracking print, directionality, that punctuation, that's the, the, ex, the exclamation and the quotation. I'm sorry, the, the question mark and the quotation. The uh, paragraph is, so I have some things here, sentence level, discourse level. Um, let me clarify those words. When we look at a, a text, uh, we can analyze a text on three levels, a page of a text on three levels. Just let me clarify this because this might come up later on in the class and you never know. There's there's the word level. Um, sorry, I'll put the word level. There's the vocab or, or word level. Word level is when we look at vocab, uh, like vocab like uh, uh, tier one, tier two, and tier three vocab. That's analyzing the text from a word phrase level. Then there's the uh, the sentence level. Sentence level is when we, we look at punctuation. Uh, like things like uh, the, the and, and grammar rules that are within the sentence. Like we analyze the sentences. We're like, you know what? I see a lot of these things. And this is something that I'm going to have to clarify on, on these syntax uh, details. I'm going to have to clarify on this page. And then there's the, the discourse level. This is sort of the uh, word, sentence, and, and paragraph level. So discourse level is when we're going to analyze the structure of the text and have a multi-paragraph response. And if I've lost you, don't worry. Just stick with the answer to this question. The most basic thing you teach would be uh, directionality and using that pointer to go from left to right. Thumbs up? Phew. <laughs> You're with me. The answer is B. All right. Okay. Let's go to another hard question or a, a slightly harder question. Okay. Let's keep going.